camera's like really dirty. So for today's video, I've got a new set of wheels that I want to try out. It's a new brand that I've never skated before, so today we're going to find out if they're any good. And I also got a new pair of shoes. I'm not telling you guys what they are yet, so comment down below what shoes you think they are. Here's a little hint. They are Nike SB. So these wheels are from a new company. I think they're a new company called Krippy. I don't really know how to pronounce their name, but it's right. But it's right here. I think they're called Krippy. Krippi? I don't know. So on the back of the wheels it says Apex Flat Spot Resistant Wheels Carlos Ribeira Multicultural High End Urethane Apex Formula Tested and Approved by the Groupie Team Nice these are size 52. I usually go for wheels that are like size 54, a little bit bigger. I always like to start off with my wheels being pretty big because I skate them for like a year. By the end of that, they're usually pretty small. But before I put these on my board, I want to talk about the last set of wheels that I've been skating. It was kind of annoying me to hold a full skateboard to the camera. So the last wheels I've been skating are the Spitfire Formula 4s. Ever since I first started skating, I've only ever skated Spitfire before. The first pair of wheels that I ever had were Spitfire Classics, and those lasted me like six months before I got a new pair. And then after those ones, I got Spitfire Formula 4s, and I've been skating them ever since for the past like three years. And in that time, I've only ever went through two pairs, and I have never had any flat spots on them whatsoever. This one's from my first set of Formula 4s, and it got so small. Right now, this is like, let me get a ruler. So these wheels started off at 54 millimeters and now they're at, I can't really show it too well through the ruler but that's 40 millimeter. Which is crazy, they went down pretty much like 15 millimeters without getting any flat spots. And then the ones I'm skating right now I've had for about a year, they're probably like size 44 or something and I've never had any flat spots on these either. They're also just really good wheels and they slide so well. So for me to like these wheels right here, they're gonna have to be really good. And before I put these wheels on my board and start skating them, I wanna just mention that I'm not sponsored by this company to talk good on these wheels at all. I was however given these by my skate shop just to try them out and see if they're any good. But what they want from me is to just see if these are actually good and they want my honest opinion on them. So I'm gonna go put these on my board and I also need to do a skateboard setup because last time I was skating I broke my board. board is now set up. I've got an 8.25 Alzheimer's deck and then I've got 148 Thunder Trucks, creepy wheels with some Cortina bearings. Actually some of the bearings are actually bones red because the Cortina ones keep breaking. I got this deck off a friend, I never set it up so it's either Jessup or Mob Grip Tape, I don't really know. I think I'm using independent bolts and then I've got one bones rail one here just to help me slide on some tricks. But mainly because I just think they look pretty cool. So I'm about to go head down to the skate park and test out these wheels. For all the people that commented spleen on the last video, here's all the shout outs on the screen. If you want to be in the next one, you can comment it again. You can also put your Instagram if you want a shout out as well. Spleen gang.
Can everyone do me a little favor? Can everyone try to ride my board and see what the wheels feel like? Let me know how they feel. So first impressions of these wheels are really good, I think they're sick. It could just be because they're new but they feel so smooth to ride. They slide along the ledges really good for grinds and they just feel really smooth to just ride around the park. Getting new wheels has got to be one of my favourite things, being that little bit extra higher off the ground gives you so much extra pop. All my tricks just felt so sick that entire session. You can never really tell from just one session if a pair of wheels are going to be good and if they're going to last a long time, but my first impressions of these wheels, they're really good. Are they going to flat spot the more that I skate them only time will tell but I have heard they're supposed to be just as good and just as durable as Spitfire Formula 4s. And as I said in the beginning of this video I've been skating these wheels for the past three years. I've had two pairs and I've never had any flat spots. Big shout out to Aussies for hooking me up with these wheels once again to make a video. Their Instagram is right here. Everyone should go follow them. But that guys is where we're going to wrap up today's video. Thank you all for watching. Hit the like button if you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments what wheels you guys skate. Subscribe if you're not already. We are almost at 10k. This channel is growing so fast and it's so sick. I think by the time that I'm posting this video I'll be at like 9.9k so we're only like 100 subs away from hitting 10k. But I'm gonna end the video right there because this video is going up in like an hour. Thank you all for watching and check back tomorrow for the next video.